Powered paragliding is one of the most unique forms of aviation available today. If you can picture pulling a motor out of the back of your car, laying a glider out into an open field, throwing the motor on your back, and running into the sky and exploring the countryside, that's powered paragliding. There are a few neat things about powered paragliding that really set it apart from other forms of aviation. First off is the ease of entry. Just about anybody can learn how to fly a powered paraglider. Second of all is the cost. Unlike normal general aviation, it doesn't take sixty or seventy thousand dollars to own an airplane and keep it in a hangar. And finally, convenience. You can put this aircraft in the back of your car and if you can find an open grass field to launch out of, you can explore the world. Powered paragliding is very lightly regulated. We've just got a few rules we have to follow. You don't need a license to fly one, and you certainly don't have to attend training to be legal. But we think teaching yourself is simply foolish. At Midwest PPG, it's not simply our responsibility to teach you how to fly a paramotor. We want to teach you to be a safe and legal pilot and a responsible aviator. Franklin, Indiana is a great place to train. We have a large grass field to take off and land, empty airspace overhead, and we maintain state-of-the-art equipment so your flying experience is safe and reliable. Powered paragliding has really taken off in the last few years. With social media becoming so much more popular, more eyeballs are on our sport. And with the changes in equipment, motors being lighter, gliders being more efficient, it's really opened the doors to people who otherwise wouldn't have been able to fly. I started paragliding, speed flying, and speed riding about eight years ago in California. When I moved back to Indiana, I don't have any mountains to fly off of, so the only option I had was powered flight. Dave taught me how to fly a powered paraglider, and I've been hooked ever since. He's been a really great mentor for me. It's also been a benefit to be a part of the Aviator Alliance, where I can interact with several other instructors and share with them what works for me and learn what works for them. Learning to fly a powered paraglider takes about seven to 10 days for most people. First, we'll start in the field where you become familiar with your equipment, you learn to kite the glider over your head and get comfortable having the motor on your back. In the classroom, we'll study theory of flight, safety issues, and the laws that we have to abide by. The final phase of training is the flying phase. The analogy I like to use is going through your entire school career and every single flight is a different year of school. Your first flight's like your first year of school. Your mother's putting you out on the bus, you're nervous, you've never done this before, there's lots of anxiety, you don't know who your friends are going to be, and every year after that you get more and more comfortable with school. The same is true with flight. By your sixth flight, it's like you're a sixth grader. You've done this before, it's no big deal. By 12th grade, you're graduating, you've got this, you're doing it on your own, and by the time you leave us at 25 flights, you're an independent pilot, just like an independent adult who's gone through their education and is ready to face this on their own. If you're ready to fly a powered paraglider, check out our website, give us a call, or come by the hangar and see it for yourself. We'll see you soon.